What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you another comparison video between two cars and to my right I have the 2024 Kia Telluride in the SX Prestige all-wheel drive and we're going to be talking about this seven-seater SUV and comparing it over to the 2024 Kia Sorento in the SX Prestige hybrid six seater. We're going to be comparing both of these exterior interiors and specs on both these cars. But before we do, because it is not a sponsored video and we truly need and appreciate your guys' support here at Vagabond Builds, please tap that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you do have something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us and we could talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Kia here at the Roseville Auto Mall, right? outside of Sacramento, California for providing us these beautiful cars for this review. Keep watching and stay tuned because we're also going to be dropping the MSRP stickers later on in this video so you guys get an idea of what comes on these cars and the price tags on top. Now let's go ahead and talk Kia Sorento and Kia Telluride. So let's kick this comparison video off with talking what do we get under both of these hoods. Now you were looking first at the 2024 Kia Sorento and what do we get under this hood? It is the SX Prestige Hybrid. It is a 1.6 liter turbocharged GDI engine with a hybrid powertrain, six speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters at 227 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. A little bit about the MPG for the people who'd like to know. It is an all-wheel drive, 36 city, 33 highway, and a 34 combined with a 17.7 gallon gas tank side size. If we come over to the side of the car, let's talk some dimensions, length, width, and height, starting with the length in inches, 189 inches in length, 75 inches in width, and 67 inches in height with 110 inch wheelbase. 5,600 pounds of towing capacity. Now let's shoot over to the Kia Telluride 2024. And guys, this is a complete different powertrain. It is a 3.8 liter gas direct injection engine, eight speed automatic transmission, 291 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque. All wheel drive, 18 city, 24 highway, and a 20 combined with the 18.8 gallon gas tank size. Now let's talk dimensions on the Kia Telluride 198 inches in length, 78 inches in width, and a 71 inches in height with 114 inch wheelbase with about 5,700 pounds of towing capacity, everybody. So you have some differences, okay? You got differences in wheelbases, differences in dimensions. We're gonna be talking cargo area and things of that sort. But remember, 3.8 liter gas powered engine is completely different from a SX Prestige hybrid, okay? I wanted to mention that to you guys because this being the SX Prestige, you do not have this in a hybrid Telluride, okay? But again, let's go ahead and we shut these hoods and let's talk front ends. Now, SX Prestige is literally like the pinnacle trim, very one of the top trims. And I wanted to mention to you guys, what do we see on this LED lighting and that kind of jewel eye look? All right, you got the, we left the parking lights on so you guys get an idea of what that looks like. Active air vents here, parking sensors going across with the camera integrated right under that Kia emblem, okay? This grill is kind of a matte uh, gunmetal gray with a matte silver going across, also on that lower side grill with LED fog lights, all right? Now let's go ahead and show you guys what the Kia Sorento looks like. It is going to be different. Headlights are completely different. We left the hazards on so you guys get an idea of what that looks like. But again, SX Prestige does give you the LED lighting and this is kind of a three-step LED lighting. Very cool, kind of reminds me alien-ish. But black gloss on the upper grill with the camera integrated right under that Kia emblem. Parking sensors going across black gloss on that lower grill with finishing off on a glossy silver. So to be honest with you, the Kia Sorento and the SX Prestige Hybrid does look a little bit more rich than the Kia Telluride. But again, you are getting a bigger SUV here at seven seats compared to six seats. Moving to the side of both cars, the wheel well trims are both in the matte black plastic. Sorento has the parking marker into the wheel well trim. Dropping down, we're going to have different wheels, okay? Starting with the Sorento, what do we see? We got the Cro Continental's cross contacts and the size on these wheels are 235, 55, 19 with machine surface silver and a gunmetal gray gloss. Suspension system is a uh, just a typical regular shock spring suspension. We shoot over 
to the Telluride. Now, you do have a nicer tire on the Telluride. It is a Michelin tire, and that's a primacy tire, 245, 50, 20, with a black gloss and machine surface silver, again with a shock spring suspension. Side mirrors, got the uh, integrated blinker lighting with cameras under both of these mirrors. So you're getting the 360 cameras on the SX Prestige Telluride and also the Sorento. Foldable mirrors with blind spot assist. Up top, wanted to mention to you guys, both in the uh, silver roof rails. These are add-ons, so these you can opt in for. I'm sure they're gonna cost a little bit more. Keyless fob entry with a dual color on the Telluride handle. To where on the uh, Sorento, you do not have the dual color. Let's go ahead and open both of these doors so you guys get an idea of what the trim looks like and the kind of cuts to the body lines. Matte black plastic trim with metallic silver. To where this one has the matte black plastic trim, again, with kind of a matte silver. All right. Moving forward, just wanted you guys to pay attention to the rear doors. Kind of similar, honestly, but very nice and wide access if you come over. Here, I want to show you guys what the access looks like on both of these SUVs. Very nice, wide opening access, big door. Same thing with the Telluride, okay? So you're not going to be banging things around trying to get stuff in there for your kids or people. Again, yes, fuel door here on the right. Same thing as the um, Sorento. Here at the rear, again, big differences, okay? So up top, you have a spoiler with an integrated LED lighting. The wiper to the back glass is hidden under that spoiler, giving it more of a cleaner look. Camera right over that license plate. Kia emblem dropping down. This is where you're going to be opening the tailgate, automatic lift tailgate. Sorento HEV letting you know it's a hybrid EV. Bumper sensors going across in that matte black plastic trim and finishing off with a glossy silver, okay? Now the exhaust, you might ask, is tucked under the bumper right here on the passenger side because they're cleaning up a look. You see that in a lot of manufacturers. Telluride, spoiler, integrated uh, brake lighting into that spoiler. But one thing that's different on the Telluride SX Prestige is you have a live feed camera here right near the brake light, okay? We're gonna show you guys that, how it looks like on the inside. Dropping down, the windshield wiper is noticeable here on the Telluride. Again, moving forward camera over the license plate bumper sensors going across that lower side of that rear end in that kind of matte gray look and finishing off with that matte black plastic here's your tow hitch system again about 5700 pounds of towing capacity on this exact telluride let's go ahead and pop open the tailgates telluride tailgate open is here automatic lift gate and same thing I mean, different here on the Sorento. So let's go ahead and talk some cargo area. They both are three row SUVs. Wanted to show you guys that. But what are the cargo uh, numbers with the third row up on the Sorento? So you're looking at the Sorento, right? Now the Sorento with the third row seating up is about 13 cubic feet of space, 39 cubic feet of space with the third row down. And then with third and second rows, about 76 cubic feet of space but let's go ahead and show you guys what you're getting here bose premium sound system subwoofer what's under this mat tire situation going on now your spare tire is under the car when and forgot to mention that as well but again here on the right i wanted to show you guys on the sx prestige you have a little control unit to drop that second row seating from here in the back electrically controlled you only can drop them you can't pick them up 12 volt 180 watt outlet all right now moving to the telluride third row seating is up all right so remember it is seven seats i keep mentioning that but third row seating is about 21 cubic feet of space behind the third row dropping the third row is about 46 cubic feet of space and dropping the third and the second row is about 87 cubic feet of space okay showing you guys that and what it looks like what is under this mat a whole lot more room and again the spare tire is on the outside all right on the left hand side again we have a little control unit to drop that second and third row seating that's what 87 cubic feet of space looks like a 12 volt outlet some tie downs and pretty 
much straight to the point. Now that we're pretty much done talking specs, exteriors, and cargo, let's go ahead and show you guys the interiors. Sitting in the Kia Sorento, get a load of what this interior looks like. Starting from the right side of the dash with those vents, pay attention, because you're gonna be seeing a lot of differences over to the center infotainment screen. Now this screen is smaller than the Telluride. Would have liked to have seen the bigger screen on the Telluride, again with the touch sensitive buttons here on the left and on the right of the infotainment screen. Your temperature control unit is completely different compared to the Telluride. The vents here dropping down. Now you might get some similarities in look here in the pocket area with this lid, but you get USB-A plugins with the wireless charging pad right here on the bottom right, okay? We're gonna turn on that light so you guys can see that. But the Telluride comes with USB-C where the uh, Sorento does not have the USB-C plugins. Heated and ventilated seats, same positioning, you get that in both cars. Major difference that you're gonna be seeing is this um, shift knob. This is a very nice, clean, new tech shift knob to where the Telluride has that old look on that shift uh, on that shift lever. And then again, going through your modes of driving, your camera system, 360 and bird's eye view, and you can change the angles on that as well. Coming back to this control, heated steering wheel and hill decline assist with parking brake, very nice and convenient area for your parking brake with a removable tray and some personal cubby room down here. Coming over to the driver cockpit cluster display screen. That's where you're gonna see some difference, fully digital and high tech. You can change the theme, but we're not gonna go into that for the sake and the time of the video. But again, you can go through different info cards. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that real quick. Doing all that stuff. Now, if you do shoot over to Roseville Kia, they have guys that'll sit and spend their time with you guys uh, going ins and outs of these cars. Windshield wiper control on the right on this lever. Lighting system here on the left. On the left side of this manual steering column, traction control, again with your tailgate lift button and your um, lane assist button. Switch your door panel, it looks like. All right, with your control unit to your windows, your side mirrors, automatic foldable with your memory seating. And up top to finish off with the front side of the Sorento, that is an electric sun visor and a one piece glass that goes over to the backrest of that second row seating, all right? Another difference that you will see, again, the live feed camera, no live feed in the Sorento. This is just the manual uh, mirror. And then the heads-up display, you won't see a heads-up display in the Sorento SX Prestige to where the Telluride comes with one. Done with the front, let's go ahead and show you second and third row seating in the Sorento, then we'll jump over to the Telluride. Second and third row seating in the Sorento, and you got that same leather look coming in from the front over to the second row seating, perforated. Heated seats on the second row as well. The ways to control the seat, you can fold the backrest down by this lever. You have the... Um, bracket here or this uh, rod to pull that seat back in front and then you could also press this button to bunny hop that seat forward all right for your back passengers with an armrest and then again these are captain seating so you have an aisle way here what do we see in front of these second row seatings pockets two pockets one with a mesh and then one pocket kind of wrapped in that leather feel usb-a plugins on the side of both front seats vents and then down here, you're gonna see some difference here with the 12 volt outlet, a 115 volt inverter if you wanna bring an air fryer or blow dryer, and then a USB-A plug-in. Door panels pretty much look the same, but on the door panel itself, this is where you're gonna find your heated seat button with the sun visor and the SX Prestige, okay? It's gonna drop down. Let's go ahead and show you guys what the third row seating looks like. Now. On the space test, sorry, I didn't mention the space test, but I'm about six feet, two inches. Leg room and head clearance on the second row is completely there. Six feet, two inches, tall people, you're good for the second row. Let's go ahead and shoot over to the back. Now, the back is a bit more claustrophobic. We did not move this seat, but again, for a six-seater SUV, I would have to say there's pretty good space back here. My head is barely touching this kind of drop in the top visor or the top liner, very cool. And then USB-A on the right and the left with some personal pocket room cup holder on each side, all right? 
these seats are pretty comfortable back here and they do come perforated with car seat compatibility. We're pretty much done with the Sorento. Let's go ahead and show you guys the Telluride. Now get a load of the Telluride interior. Now we are sitting inside the Telluride and starting with that door sill plate. Here on the Telluride, you just have kind of a brushed aluminum door sill plate look to where on the Sorento, you actually have the Sorento being written across that door sill plate. Dashboard is completely different with regards to the vents, the trim work, and then shooting us over to the infotainment screen that literally connects complete to the driver cockpit cluster display screen. Full digital, you got the bigger screen here, very cool. Again, same interface that Kia uses inside their cars. Dropping down, remember I was telling you guys the difference in the temperature controls and the hard buttons here. You can control that screen there with the hard buttons here. Temperature controls, show you guys that how that looks. Dropping further lower, now you have the heated steering wheel button here on or near the uh, temperature knob. But again, heated and ventilated seats, same exact area as the Sorento. And then we press the lid and popping open that lid, USB-C, USB-A with a wireless charging pad and a 12 volt outlet. Remember I was telling you guys, we got the difference in the shift lever compared to that knob. This is an older look. I do like the Sorento for that. The modes here as well, going in and out of modes with the parking button and the camera system, 360 bird's eye view, and you can change the angles on that as well. But again, let's go back home on that. Removable tray for that center console, USB-C plug-in there as well with cubby room for your personal belongings. The seats themselves, remember I told you guys, heated and ventilated seats, perforated, but I like this color. Now, yes, you will be seeing different colors in different type cars, depending on what you guys like. But again, electric controlled as well. Up top, manual visor with a tilt and sun roof option, but that is different from the Sorento. Remember the Sorento was a one glass going all the way to the back of the second row. To where here you have an electric visor there in the back second row seating area for that glass, but it doesn't tilt or slide on that second row. Uh, steering wheel is completely different with your controls. This is a quad spoke to where the uh, Sorento look more like a tri-spoke steering wheel. Does come heated, but again, the tech is the same. To control that inf that cluster, you will be using this button here, going through the info cards and the sc the uh, screens there on the right. Again, with your telephone command system here on the left. Controls to the windshield wipers, lighter on the the lights on the left, on the left hand side of the manual steering column, hill decline assist, tailgate button, and traction control door panel, memory seating, control units to the windows and automatic foldable seats. But this comes with the Harman Kardon premium sound system to where the Sorento has the Bose premium sound system. The Telluride comes with the Harman Kardon. But okay guys, to finish off with the front, I'm gonna mention two more differences. The live feed rear mirror. Again, that looks like a camera. You can go back into the manual mode. That is live, pretty cool. Heads up display right there in front of you. Again, I am a fan of heads up display. Pretty much done with the front. Let's go ahead and show you guys second and third row seating of the Telluride and finish off with this video. Continuing forward with the second row in the Telluride. Pretty much the same way to control the second row seating in the Telluride. You have the lever there on the bottom to move this seat forward and back. A lever here to drop that backrest. Also a button here to bunny hop this seat forward for your passengers on that third row. Armrest, they do come captain seating with an aisleway here. In front of both of these second row seatings, again, a little mesh pocket here for a phone or something, pocket there for personal belongings, USB-C plugins to where the Sorento have the USB-A, this has the USB-Cs, cup holders and dropping down on the back of that center console, 12 volt outlet with an inverter. Door panels, Sun visors on the SX Prestige, heated and ventilated seats on the Telluride SX Prestige to where the Sorento did not have ventilated second row. The Telluride has ventilated second row, okay? Harman Kardon premium sound system coming here in the back as well. Differences in the vents. Vents are up here right over the lap of the second row seating with the tri-zone temperature control. We didn't have a temperature control on the Sorento second row and third row. 
to here in the Telluride, we have the temperature controls and let's go ahead and maybe turn that on and kind of show you guys how to control that. Lighting system and the LED lighting, very nice. Forgot to mention that this is a suede liner in the Telluride SX Prestige. Now let's jump over to the third row seating. Third row seating, again, I left the, the seat kind of in a proper position. We had a whole lot of room there as a six foot two inch person. But again, if you wanted to maybe move this seat forward, I'm sure you can do that and get a load of all the space. These backrests to these seats do drop down. Very nice, comfortable feel inside the Telluride. I said, I have to tell you guys for the third row seat in the Telluride is a whole lot better, a bit more large, less claustrophobic. On the right and the left of these seats, USB-C with cup holders and personal belonging cubby space right there. Again, also a little pocket there in the wall as well. Up top, if you have animals or people sitting back here, vents. So again, you're getting some airflow back here with reading lights right over the lap. And what is this in between the seats here in the back? This is a um, voice pickup so what is i mean that if by the screen up there on the infotainment screen i can literally set a setting there and start talking and we'll hear each other better or the, the voice is amplified to the front of the car very cool feature to have okay so guys we're pretty much done for both of these cars let us know what you guys think in the comment section below as promised here's the msrp sticker to the sorrento what comes on it and the price tag on top and now here's the MSRP sticker to the Telluride with what comes on it and the price tag on top. Guys, keep watching our channel. Check for in-depth reviews, single car videos, comparison videos, and product reviews at Vagabond Builds. Keep watching and stay tuned because we have more things coming. Thank you and God bless you.